Hi everyone, welcome to Chicks Tech Reviews. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I bring you the coolest tech of the month, episode 46, and this one is called the most expensive edition. So trying something different, I've decided to drop two coolest tech specials every month. We'll have an expensive edition, which means all products above hundred pounds. And a week or two later, you will see the affordable edition where all featured products will be well under hundred pounds. So in this episode, we do have an interesting lineup, which includes smartphones, speakers, routers, and lots, lots more. Now, if you missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave the entire playlist in the description box. I will also timestamp this video for your convenience. And if you want your product featured, just go ahead and send me an email. So we are going to begin with the cheapest product first and we're going to work our way all the way to the most expensive product. So with that being said, first cool product is... So here we have the Qbot Note 20 coming in at $99 or £81 in the UK. A brand new budget smartphone with a 6.5 inch IPS display, 269 pixels per inch, 720 by 1520 HD plus display, You've got the MediaTek 6761 quad-core CPU with three gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Now you do have quad cameras on the back, a 12 megapixel Sony sensor, 20 megapixel depth, two megapixel macro, and a 0.3 megapixel ultra camera. And on the front, we have an eight megapixel on the water drop. Now this is a dual SIM 4G LTE device with built-in NFC. You also have an audio jack, USB Type-C port, and to my surprise, the back cover comes off, exposing a removable battery, and that's a 4,200 milliamp hour battery. And over here you have dual nano SIM slots and a micro SD card slot in the middle, which supports up to 128 gigs. Now the smartphone itself is 9.1 millimeters in thickness and weighs 190 grams. And this phone is running stock Android version 10. So the main features, water drop display, Android 10, NFC, audio jack, you've also got FM radio. Now there is no fingerprint sensor at all, but you do have AI face unlock. So a cheap and cheerful quad camera smartphone with a large display, big battery, and a decent enough budget performance to undertake everyday tasks. Qbot Note 20 people. So next up we have two brand new LG X Boom Go models, the PN5 and the PN7. So here it is in my hands, the smaller PN5. The speaker itself is made from a complete rubberized plastic, which feels very rugged and durable. The handle itself feels quite comfortable. I love the color changing LED lights in the center. It almost looks like a pair of eyes. Now the controls, you've got a power button, a Bluetooth pairing button, volume control and skip tracks, play and pause. You've got a voice control button, so if you press this button, it will give you access to your voice assistant. And if you keep the button pressed, it also doubles up as a light switch, so you can change between the light modes. Now, next to that, you've got a DTS Stereo Plus button. That's a new feature we haven't seen in any of the X Boom Go speakers. And you've also got your regular sound boost mode. Now, there is a latch on the back. If I open it up, you will see a USB Type-C port, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a reset hole, and your wireless party linking button. Quick look at the larger speaker. You have exactly the same controls. So power button, Bluetooth, volume control, skip tracks, play and pause.
the latest LG X Boom Go PN series. Definitely check these out, people. PN5 and PN7. Let me know which one was your favorite from these two. So let's move on to the next cool product. So next up, we have the iMail Cell Pro wire-free home security camera. So in the box, you will find your mounts, your screws, user guides, an ethernet cable, and a battery. A base station, which basically plugs directly into your router. Now this is a 100% wireless 1080p security camera. The battery can last up to six months on a full charge. You've got H.265 compression. You have PIR motion sensors on the front. You can remotely view the live feed from anywhere using the smartphone app. The video is captured directly to the base station, which uses a USB for storage. So you can plug in a flash drive or a USB hard drive up to two terabytes. This system also supports cloud storage for a very low price. It's completely optional. You don't have to use cloud storage and a free trial is included in case you want to try it out before signing up. And if you don't use that optional cloud storage service, then it's not going to cost you anything to use this system to record locally. Now the camera is IP65 weatherproof. So no worries about using this outdoor in the rain. Now the camera also has a built-in microphone and speaker for two-way talking. Now there is also a micro USB on the back in case you wanted to provide this camera constant power. So that was the 100% wireless iMAL Cell Pro home security camera. So this is the Navi Capture U3 HD 60 4K. So this is a gaming capture card which supports 4K at 60 frames per second inputs and supports pass through and it can also capture video at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Supports all the popular apps such as OBS, XSplit, Flash Media Live Encoder and lots more. And it also comes bundled with Cyberlink Screen Recorder and Power Director. So quick look at the connections, you've got a 3.5mm headphone jack and right next to it you have a controller symbol and this port is a 3.5mm audio jack so you can actually plug this directly to your game controller be it PlayStation 4 or Xbox One so your party chats can actually get recorded. You've got a power indicator over here and a USB Type-C port for your power. On the other side you have an HDMI in so you would plug in your game console, your Android TV box, your Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Android TV box, Nvidia Shield, whatever device you're looking to capture would go into the HDMI in port and over here you have an HDMI out so that's where you can plug in your monitor. All the cables are included, you've got an HDMI cable, USB Type-C to USB A cable and you also get one audio jack cable. So the actual bundled software can be downloaded using this QR code and on the back of this card you will find your serial numbers for both softwares. So completely free bundled Cyberlink software. So the Navi Tech NJ300 capture card people. So next up we have more affordable smartphones people. I have two smartphones by Honor, the Honor 20e and the Honor 9x Lite. And you might be thinking, why am I calling 8x 9x? Well, I've been given the 9x smartphone, as you can see here, on a 9x Lite. But for some strange reason, they've given it in an 8x box. Now you do have similar specs, and I will put the specs on the screen just for your convenience. So two brand new smartphones by the Honor brand. On the left, we have the Honor 20e, priced around £159. And on the right, we have the Honor 9X Lite, which comes in at £194, so slightly more expensive. Now, even though all the latest Huawei and Honor smartphones do not come with Google services, I can confirm that both of these smartphones do have official Google Play services, and the Google Play Store is ready for you to enjoy. Now, let's talk about build quality. The 20e has a plastic back, with a plastic frame, a thickness of 8 millimeters, and weighs 164 grams. Now the Honor 9X Lite has a metal frame going all the way around with a glass back and it's 7.8 millimeters thick and weighs 175 grams. So it definitely feels more premium in the hands, but both have pretty decent looking designs. Now both smartphones have Full HD Plus IPS displays, the Honor 20e has a 6.21 inch and the Honor 9X Lite has a 6.5 inch display. So you can see slightly bigger screen on the Honor 9X Lite and you can see what both notches look like. Now both phones come with 4 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM but you get 64 gigs in the 20e and 128 gigs in the 9X Lite. And both smartphones also include a microSD card to expand the storage. They are both dual SIM 4G LTE and both feature 
audio jacks at the bottom, built-in FM radio, and both smartphones have micro USB charging ports, so no fast charging included. Now, if we talk about the cameras, the Honor 20e has a triple camera setup. We're talking about a 24 megapixel main sensor, eight megapixel wide angle lens, and a two megapixel depth sensor, and also an eight megapixel selfie camera on the front. And here is a quick video sample for you guys to check out. Now the cameras on the 9X Lite, you have a dual camera setup, a 48 megapixel main sensor with an eight megapixel wide. And on the front, you have a 16 megapixel selfie camera on the notch. And here is some video footage for you guys to check out. Performance wise, the Honor 20e achieved 156K on anti 2 benchmark test and the Honor 9X Lite achieved 174K. And here is how they both ranked on my top performing smartphone chart of 2020. So decent budget smartphones from Honor and fortunately this time we do have Google Play services. A pretty decent performance for a budget handset. Let's see what's next. So here I have the MeshForce M3S. So this is one of the best ways to extend your Wi-Fi coverage throughout your home in a very easy, easy way. So we've got three identical units over here. Now all you do is plug one of them directly into your router. Now maybe on the second floor and the third floor, you can put one of these units each. All you're gonna do is plug in the power and it will automatically connect to the first unit and same with the third one. And that will basically extend your Wi-Fi connection throughout your home. Um, you will have no more dead spots in your house. It supports simultaneous dual band Wi-Fi connections. You've got a spare gigabit ethernet port on each unit. So if you put this one unit in your bedroom, you can plug it say directly into your place PlayStation 4 or PC and you can play your multiplayer games without any lag whatsoever. Now you can manage the entire network from your smartphone using the smartphone app and it does support both iOS and Android devices. There is a simple five minute setup and it runs you through it step by step from the smartphone. This is one of the easiest home mesh Wi-Fi systems I have tested. Um, it works extremely well and uh, it would boost your internet connection and it will definitely give you a boost to your internet connection especially in the areas of your home where the internet is not so good this will give you an overall super boost so that was the mesh force m3s people so this is the gorilla pod mobile vlogging kit by jobby now jobby is already very well known for its gorilla pod selfie sticks so i'm going to show you what you get in this complete mobile vlogging kit you get a drawstring carry bag you're getting the ultra durable and flexible Gorilla Pod base. You've got a mobile phone holder, which you can just screw on. Now this is the Jobby Wavo. It's their mobile microphone. So you get the microphone with a 3.5 millimeter connection on the back. You get the microphone wind guard. Now, in case you're using iPhone and you don't have a headphone jack, here is an adapter included, 3.5 millimeter to lightning. And you've got all your cables that you're ever gonna to need to connect up your smartphone. Some different adapters so you can connect to different devices and cameras. A microphone holder, horseshoe mount. And you also get the Jobby Bemo, which is a high quality mini LED light. It's made completely from metal. And you basically have two buttons on the top. And also if you remove this clip, you will see your USB type C charging port at the bottom. So you can actually charge the light itself. You also get two flexible arms that you can stick on on either side. So you can actually attach the extras. So here is a setup example. I've got my iPhone 11 Pro Max in the middle. Show you what that looks like. iPhone 11 Pro Max with the case on, nice and secure. I've got the microphone on the top. I've got the BMO LED light and I've even got an action camera connected up. Um, I really like how sturdy and durable GorillaPod already is and everything is completely customizable so you can add lots of different hardware. You've got extra adapters to help you out. So ineffectively you can connect up any action camera accessory, multiple cameras at the same time for camera comparisons and the possibilities are endless. So this is the GorillaPod mobile vlogging kit by Jobby. So we're coming up to the 200 pound mark. These are the Pamu Explore wireless Bluetooth headphones. So they come in a pretty decent looking hard zip up case. And when you open the case, you will see your headphones. And if I just take them out, put them on the side, 
quickly go through the accessories. So you've got a shoulder strap here for the actual case, a USB type C charging cable, and you get a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Here are the headphones. Now the headphones are made completely from plastic, but they do feel very durable. They are adjustable, but they are not foldable. And also you cannot turn the ear caps left or right. Now you've got plenty of padding at the top and ear cups feel well padded as well. Um, they're clearly marked right and left. Now these headphones consist of 40 millimeter dynamic drivers. They support Bluetooth version five. They'll give you a powerful deep bass. You've got USB type C fast charging. You've got volume control, type C charger, on and off switch, and your audio jack connection. And on the other side, there are no ports or buttons. Now you do have a built-in microphone, so you can take your phone calls on the go. Now they support karaoke function. You've got a 27 hour battery. They support fast charging, so 10 minutes charge will give you five hours of playtime. And you also have a built-in microphone for your phone calls. Now these actually support Qualcomm aptX HD codec. So the brand new ultra premium Pamu Explore wireless Bluetooth headphones, people. So time to break that 200 pound barrier. Here is the next cool product. So this is the Snaptane SP510 foldable drone with built-in GPS. Check this out, people. Look how neatly presented these come. Your remote control and the remote control does have a section there where you can attach your smartphone. You've got a button with a compass on it. So that's going to be related to the GPS and you've got your one key takeoff and return. Now at the top of the controller, you have some triggers so record video and take photo. And you've also got speed adjustment along with angles. And this part also opens up. So you've got some proper hand grips. Also, this remote has built in batteries. So you just plug a micro USB cable in and you charge the internal batteries. So very nicely designed remote control, I have to say. And the same applies to the drone. Here is the battery pack for the actual drone. You can press a button and it will give you a battery indication. And obviously this battery is dead. Now, once you fully charge this battery, you can expect 16 hours of fly time, which I think is more than sufficient for most people. Okay, that's all done. And then you just simply drop the battery into that middle section. Look how easy that was to set up. There is a charger port on the side and you can charge the battery independently. And once it's charged, drop it in the center. Look how easy that is. You've got a camera at the front and that's a 2.7K camera. It's got built in GPS. It's easy to fly. You've got rechargeable batteries in both the drone and the remote control. So you never need to buy any batteries ever. And the drone once fully charged will give you around 16 minutes of fly time which is plentiful. And you've got some great functions like one key takeoff, headless mode, and you've even got a follow me function with a control range of up to 300 meters. In case you do crash and you lose some blades, here is a small box containing lots of spare blades and even a small screwdriver so you can attach the blades together securely. So this is a professional drone, but it's a beginner's drone. It's designed to be easy to use. You also have the smartphone app, which you hook up to the remote control. And then you'll be able to see that camera live in action way up in the air. And you'll be able to see what you're recording and taking pictures of. So that was the SP510 drone by Snaptane. So this product nearly breaks the 300 pound barrier. It's an HStream AX Wi-Fi router supporting the latest standard Wi-Fi 6. And it will give you faster Wi-Fi, better capacity and performance. A mammoth of a router. Check out the size of this unit. Now in the box, you will also find a power cable and a single flat ethernet cable. So a closer look at the router itself. You've got a Wi-Fi and WPS button on the top with mesh grill going all the way around to the front. You've got these antennas, which look like wings and there's four antennas inside there. This is a foldable design. So if you're, you can just fold it up and store it away. So interesting. It's a very interesting design. Now on the back of the router, you have your power socket, a dedicated on and off button, You've got five gigabit ports and one port for your actual internet connection. There is also two USB 3 ports allowing you to share a stored hard drive on your network. So there could be a hard drive plugged into this 
with loads of movies loaded on and everyone connected to your network can enjoy those movies directly streamed to their computer. And you do have user controls and permissions as well in case you didn't want certain people accessing that hard drive. Now next to that you have a reset hole and you've got an on and off button for the LED lights. So yes, we do have LEDs. To set up the router, just plug it directly into a spare Ethernet port of your existing router and follow the easy steps in the Nighthawk app on your smartphone. So the Nighthawk smartphone app works extremely well, but if you wanted to manage things the traditional way by opening up a web browser, then you can also do this. And managing from the web browser will give you many more advanced options that you won't find in the smartphone app. So no matter which room I'm in, I'm getting my full broadband speed. So I've actually got a 60 meg broadband connection, but the thing is the maximum speed I actually achieve is 53 meg. That is my top speed at the moment. And my top upload speed has always been 18 megabits per second. Now there are a few areas within this property where I would get dead spots with my previous router, but it's definitely not the case with the new Nighthawk AX8. Now this is a very powerful router. It's ideal for medium to large homes up to 2,500 square foot. It will give you better wireless coverage throughout your home or office. It supports eight simultaneous streams and 30 plus wireless devices. Now, if you're a hardcore gamer and you want a professional router, Netgear's Nighthawk range is definitely the way to go. So next up we have the perfect prime thermal imaging camera for fever detection. Now inside this package, you will find your paperwork, a mini USB cable, and a hard zip up case. Now if you open up the case, you will find the world's first handheld thermal imaging camera. Now this product has an accuracy level of 0 0.3 degrees Celsius, and it works at an optimal distance of 1.2 meters. So just point it at your subject and you'll get an accurate temperature. Now, if the temperature goes above a certain level, which you can set in settings, then you will hear an alarm. Now, the device itself has a 2.8 inch LCD color display. You've got a 16 gigabyte card installed and ready to use. Now, there is also a built in 2500 milliamp hour battery and it uses mini USB to charge. Now, this is an important product, especially for businesses. So you can test people accurately for high temperature or feverish symptoms from a 1.2 meter distance with minimal or no interaction. Now you can literally have this set up on a tripod and your staff simply need to look at the camera before walking into the building. And if the alarm sounds, it will let you know who has a fever or a high temperature. So this product can protect you and your team from the spread of COVID-19 within your own company. You have a trigger button on the back. When you press it, it simply takes a picture. Now, now the actual OS seems to be based on a Android version. No idea what version it is. Now you can click menu and here is your system menu options. So you have display brightness, date and time, auto timer off, fever alarm. So if I just show you, it is a touch screen to select. The fever alarm is currently set on 38. So if anybody has a temperature of 38, the alarm will go off. You can set that higher or lower. Um, as required. Now let's go back. You can view the images. So let's go and view an image. So these are a few images that I took of various people that I could find. So 36, there's another head, 36, 36. So that's how it works. There's my hand, <laughs> 36. Let's go back. So you're really supposed to use this from a distance of 1.2 meters. Um, you don't actually have to get up really close, uh, which is definitely a good thing. Now, more system options. No idea what that is. You've got temperature units, so you can select Celsius or Fahrenheit. If we go back, you've got fever image capture, image format. So you can change the image format here and you have two choices. Now over here, you can do a factory reset, color palette, delete pictures, and finally body temperature filter. So those are your options. A very effective and safe way to control the virus from within your company. Definitely advisable to pick this one up. It works very well, it's easy to use, and it's very accurate. So this is the world's first thermal imaging camera for fever detection made by Perfect Prime. So next up we have the Neatsvor X500 robot vacuum cleaner. 
So in the box you will find your user manual, a small remote control, you've got a charging station, power adapter for the charging station, a spare filter, cleaning brush, four spinning brushes that you actually fit under the vacuum cleaner. It has a play pause button on the top with a Wi-Fi indicator and the logo. If we have a look at the bottom, you will see some big wheels and a regular vacuum roller. Now, in the corners over here, you would fit your sweeping brushes and they are color coded so you know which one goes where. And you also have a 360 roller which will help the vacuum maneuver in any direction. Now your dust box is at the front. I will just remove it to show you. This is a 600 ml capacity. So all you're doing is opening this up. You will see all your dust in this compartment. Empty it into the bin and you can see you've got your filter on this side. Close it and away you go. Now this vacuum cleaner has sensors going all the way around. Now these are anti-collision sensors and also it will prevent the vacuum cleaner from falling down the stairs. Now this is not just a robot vacuum cleaner. You can also pick up a separate water tank and mop attachment. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here it is. So here is your mop attachment. So if you're finished with vacuuming and you want the floor mopped, you would basically remove the bin attachment and just replace it with the mop attachment and you can see at the bottom you've got a washable cleaning cloth you get two in the pack and basically this just sticks on via velcro and it will mop your floor this is a water tank so i'll show you how you can fill up water you, you just lift up the blue rubber seal fill it up with water it is a 250 ml water capacity close it and attach and you can go ahead and mop your entire floor. I will briefly show you this in action, on my table that is. So as you guys saw, it did not fall off and now I'm docking it to the charging station. So you just press home on the remote and it docks itself. Charging starts. Now if ever the battery were to become low, it would automatically dock itself like it just did. Now there is also a smartphone app available for both Android and iOS, which supports voice control using Alexa or Google, and it will let you control all functions of this vacuum cleaner. Now this robot vacuum cleaner supports smart navigation mapping to cover full areas of your home, and it can quite easily maneuver itself over different lengths of carpet, rugs, and hard floors, thanks to these big wheels, which are coated in this very grippy rubberized plastic. Now you've got a powerful cleaning system with 2000 PA of suction power. So that was the Neatsvor X500 robot vacuum cleaner. And the next product, which is definitely too big to slide across the table. This is the Power Oak power station. It's a portable electric power generator with 1500 watts of power. It supports all devices under a thousand watts, such as TVs, fridges, game consoles, power tools, laptops, PCs, lawn mowers, and the list goes on. Now, it's a great power station for camping or even caravans. Now you do have built-in top branded LG lithium battery cells, support solar charging, and the solar charger is not actually included in the box. You've got battery management, so protection from over voltage, overcurrents, short circuits, and temperature control, and many other safeguards. Now you have an LCD screen to monitor the remaining capacity. It will show you status for charging and discharging, and if there are any errors, it will show you the error codes accordingly. Now this power generator takes 10 hours to fully charge, and it will automatically stop charging once it's fully charged using the standard wall charger. And if you're wondering how long this monster can last, well, you can charge your smartphone around 128 times or watch 22 hours of non-stop TV or keep a laptop connected for constant power for around 26 hours. So that should give you a rough idea of the battery capacity. Now there is also a built-in fan which turns itself on and off when necessary to keep the unit running nice and cool. So that was the very powerful portable Power Oak power station. So there you have it guys, that concludes episode 46 
with another dose of Cortec products. This was the very first most expensive edition. So all of the products you just saw were priced over a hundred pounds. Do let me know in the comments which ones were your favorite from the bunch. The next episode coming soon will be the most affordable edition, which will feature all products under a hundred pounds. So, so quite excited to share that video with you guys. And with that being said, Everything you just saw will be linked in the description box below and I have also added timestamps so you can easily navigate yourself to your desired product. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one.